Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. Thank you for stopping by. I have a new unboxing. Today I am doing the Sexual Magic Oracle Cards by Laura Tuan and Mauro DeLuca. Um, I got these cards on Magic and they just look so beautiful. And I was intrigued with the uh, artwork. So uh, it's a book and 36 oracle cards, a very special oracle where every card is a ritual, a practical spell for living a healthy sexual life and a fulfilling relationship with your partner. They look really beautiful. And um, I got, I got them mainly for the artwork, honestly. The box feels nice. It feels like... It's textured. It has like a linen almost feel to it. Let's see. Why is this being so difficult? Sometimes they're easy to get off and something. Wow, that feels like, you see that? It's got like a little bit, you see the texture there? Feels really nice, actually. Very nice. And this is put up by Los Scarabeo. So it does, it's just a black inside. And it's got a book, and it's going to be in probably at least four different languages. So let's see. English, Italian, uh, Spanish, Portuguese. Oh, and it's got an astrological glossary. Okay, sometimes it's got Russian and other uh, things. So this is... Okay, so this is the cards. It looks like these are the cards. And this looks like... Um, oh, that's Italian, right? All right, so this is... This all the English one. Okay, yeah. I forgot, I just said it has four languages, and then I forgot all about it at the same time. So it explains it, um, and then talks about the deck. Yeah, and I mean, it's got some stuff in it. Tip, tips for magic. Um, palette of feelings. Reading the cards. Couples harmony. It's got a spread here. The witness. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Witness says. <laughs> and uh, different situations. Okay, so I'll actually, yeah. Uh, let's see. There's 24 cards linked to an astrological sign. So this, all right, so it, like Conquest number one through 24 has astrological signs. And then there's 12 cards linked to a planet. Well, that's cool. All right. Okay, and then it's got that at the end of the um, book. It tells you, it gives you the astrological thing. Okay, and it's got a little thing here. Ooh, that's the back. It's pretty. They are not, um, what do you call it, gilded, too bad. And you know what? I should have realized these had plastic on them. Oh, hold on. Oh. Okay, I'm back. You know, even with the scissors, this the plastic is so hard to get off. I don't understand why they double um put double up on the plastic on these cards. I just don't get it. Anyway, let's take a better look at the back. That's pretty. These are nice. These are nice cards. All right. So it looks like they do have astrological signs to them. So it looks like each card, there's 24 of them. Um so, yeah, so they're each going to be two per, per astrological sign. This is Aries, of course. All right. So, let's see. Conquest. And like I said, I just thought the artwork was really pretty. Very beautiful uh, watercolors. Passion. Look how beautiful this is. Chemistry. Fidelity. Look, she's got a little egg there. And even the little tattoo on her shoulder. It's really cool. Feelings. And this goes to, those two were uh, Aries and Taurus. And this is, these are Gemini. These next two. Feelings. choice now is this person looking in on her that's kind of creepy let's see <laughs> that's creepy okay dreams desire Tr 
triumph. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> the apple is hiding his stuff. And like, you got this other guy back here. He's hiding his stuff. Got this one. <laughs> the apple triumph, huh? That's interesting. Okay. Discovery. Self-confidence. Now, I don't really know who the artist is. I don't know if it's Laura Tuan or Mauro De Luca, um, but it, they're beautiful. So beautiful. Moving on. Temptation. Oh, look. She's pregnant and he's being pulled away by somebody. That's not very nice. Okay. Um, trust. Protection. Awareness. That one is cool. Is that a mirror? What is that? What is that? Is that a... It almost looks like a car mirror, but I don't know. Of course, it's trying to focus in on the thing in the back. I don't know what that is. That's the bowl he's drinking out of? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Interesting. Okay, trials. Calling back. Look how beautiful. Oh. So pretty. I mean, they're they're very tastefully done. There's nothing, I don't think, like vulgar about any of these cards. Leaving. I mean, it's nothing wrong with the human body. The human body is beautiful. Waiting, especially women's bodies. Our bodies really, I mean, men's bodies are beautiful too. But women's bodies are extra special. Transgression. So that's like, almost like a devil card. And it also like... Persephone, because of the um, pomegranate here. Look, you got two little cats here. It's a very cool card. I love that card. Okay. Truth. Forgiveness. Healing. Look how beautiful. So beautiful. These, I knew I was going to like these. Um, attraction. They're just gorgeous. What is it? Nostalgia? Maybe you should say nostalgia. Oh, that's the cover. It's so beautiful. Lovely. Okay. Empathy. Harmony. So pretty. Wrath. Hmm. Wrath. Interesting. Okay. Bliss. Surrendering. Oh, she's crying. Hmm. Freedom. She's going to cut him out. <laughs> Romanticism. That's what these cards are. Very romantic. Um, jealousy. Fulfillment. power so so beautiful okay i'm gonna read that little blurb in the front real quick just so it explains because it talks about the cards i just need a sip of coffee here oh, excuse me it talks about um the cards here so there's a deep sea between saying and doing an old saying goes, and it's relevant to this deck, intuition lies between cards, meanings, and interpretation. This oracle starts with the symbolism of images to arrive at magical formula. Included are 36 cards with beautiful illustrations imbued with erotic suggestions. Suggestions because this is their purpose to help through, to help through images, keywords, and spreads, feel and clarity to themselves feeling clarity to themselves what one feels wants hopes and fears the i stands for relation to you and then becomes we or on the contrary when the couple breaks up the i slowly detaches from them love or distance desire or coldness to continue in the game of looks and hearts or reconsider one's priorities the 36 images will tell you 
move it over here. 36 images will, will tell us what an ambitious intent of making the heart with an ambitious intent of making the heart speak sim, stimulation, stimulating it to, oh my God, stimulating it to question itself and to understand who it is and what it is looking for. After the suggestions given by the images and the invitation to better understand one's desires and limits, magical action comes into play. A simple recipe taken from the tradition of love, magic, to be put into practice with the ingredients listed each time. Candles, paper, ribbons, herbs, spices, materials, and products that are part of our everyday life. This oracle is a treat on the eyes and a pleasure to handle which helps to better understand yourself and your better half. And if fate allows to act magically in favor of the harmony of the couple, beware, however, of the magic law. Never overpower the other, never force, never hurt. Love loves pure hearts, which must, which must remain pure. Laura Tuan. Okay, so she might, she's probably the creator. Let's see if it says if who is the artist here. Uh, artwork by Mara De Luca. Okay. All right. So, and then it talks about the cards, how to use them. Oh, and I forgot, like th these cards in the back, they are connected to a planet. And um, I think that's a North Node there. And that, I'm not sure what that is. What are those signs? Huh. I know that's Neptune there. Um, I think that's Uranus. Saturn, I believe, and I forget. Okay, so I wonder what this is. Okay, you know what? Let me just look real quick and see jealousy. So number 34 and 35. Okay, let's just see real quick what that is. 34 and 35. Okay, 34. Oh, th Lilith. 35 is Lilith. Okay, I had never seen that sign. Uh, 34 is Pluto. Okay, that's a weird... I don't remember seeing that for Pluto, but okay. And um, the other one that I thought was the North Node, it says Lunar Node, which I do believe is the North Node. Okay. At least that's what I thought it was. I think South is just the other one upside down. Same thing upside down. Okay, so Wrath, Transgression, Triumph. Okay, which one do I want to do? I want to do Wrath because that one is interesting. Interesting. And that was number 29. So let's see. Doo -doo. So this one goes into Emotions, which is Wrath. So 29. And it's Mars. Okay, yeah. All right. Anger is like an explosion that stays in the air and keeps people apart. But if a wall opens up, a few steps can bring people together. Reflection. Mars is the god of arrows, but also of extreme, of anger, I'm sorry, also of anger, extreme emotions, and problems solved only through conflict. Incendiary passions and memorable erotic experience go hand in hand with poignant pain and devouring rage. Magic. To pacify a couple in crisis, it's necessary to have an external person who takes the troubles to wash away the bad feelings and the problems between the two. To do this, it is necessary to carry on the head a jug full of water, making three turns around the building. Finally, the contents must be poured on the threshold. Oh, interesting. Carrying a jug on the head or, the, or is it the hand? Yeah, on the head it says here. Huh. She's not carrying a jug in her head, though. She's carrying a jug in her hand. I don't know. I would look very stupid <laughs> carrying a jug in, my, in the head, on the head around my, my house. <laughs> I don't have a need for that, but I'm just saying I just, I can't see myself doing that. That's so funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's go with transgression number 21. Okay. And that is Aquarius, I believe. Um, yeah, Aquarius. Oh, so that's what it is. There's an Aquarius solar and an Aquarius lunar. And that's why there's two of each um, astrological affiliation. Okay, so Aquarius. Wildly elusive is the abandonment of the senses. Reflection. Aquarius is the spokesperson 
of freedom, eager to go beyond and exceed their limits. An Aquarius cannot stand constraints and rules, which invariably rebels. Magic to convince them to transgress, <laughs> make a, let's see, take a red apple and pass it repeatedly on your body, then peel it and cook it together with a pear, some cardamom seeds and Marsala wine. It will be an aphrodisiac for both you and your partner. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I mean, you're trying to get somebody to do something you probably don't, they don't want to do. I don't agree with like, um... Making people do things against their will. I, th I think that's shady, but, you know, hey. I mean, I could be done in the spirit of fun, too, in that, in that like, uh, aspect, I guess. Okay, number nine, Triumph. I'm going to read a couple of these because, you know, they're quick. So, Leo Solar. The eye and the heart have no uncertainty. Love gives beauty more than beauty gives love. Huh, love gives beauty. That's true. Reflection. Light, every strong, I'm sorry, light, very strong in the month of Leo overcomes darkness, honesty, beauty, and truth defeat disharmony and lies. Magic. To triumph over a rival, get a red apple, bite it. Afterwards, into the bitten pulp, stick nine cloves, number of Mars the warrior, then tie the fruit with a red ribbon, making nine knots, then cut it in two, Eat the part that you have bitten and offer the other half to your loved one. So how do you tie it and then cut it? Hmm. That seems, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So it's giving you spells. It's honestly, this they should be called the uh, sexual magic and spells cards. <laughs> I guess sexual magic kind of covers it, but that's pretty much what it is. Okay, so number six, choice. Let's see. It doesn't, they're not really explaining the imagery on the card here at all. Okay. So, cause that one's really is creepy. You got somebody checking in on there. I don't like that, but okay. So choice, um, Gemini lunar prepare for love. Even if it doesn't yet have a face or a name, love itself will bring the right person. Reflection in the Greek myth of Castor and Pollux, there are two opposing and complementary natures between two or more options, only one triumphs, whereas others decline. Magic. Choose the right person. Pick a bunch of yellow leaves and place them in a vase. Take a mirror in your hands and ask it to show you the face of your future love in a dream. Oh. So, I mean, I guess in a way, if that's like her future love is kind of like, um, that's what she's thinking about. Is that a window though, or is that like a mirror? I don't know. It's so creepy. Do you see the face? It's just creepy to me. Her, she's gorgeous. Okay, that I, that I don't. You really didn't need that there. Personally, I don't think you need it. But anyway, the card's gorgeous. Love it. All right, so that's this deck. It's a sexual magic deck. Um, Oracle cards by Laura Tuan and Mauro De Luca. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I personally got it just for the artwork because I think the artwork is gorgeous and magic. They were having a great sale. So, although I've had these at home for quite a while, um, probably what, three months now, <laughs> I just haven't had time. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're, um, having a good day wherever you are. Blessings and thank you.